How to Draw Portraits in Perspective by Vladimir London. For digital drawing, I will use SenseLab's tablet and pressure sensitive pen. These tablet and pen are part of the SenseLab tablet bundle. The bundle comes with the tablet, which is very nice and has a good size, not too small and not too big. There's also a protective carrying case. Then, there is also a case with two pens, a wireless dongle, adapter, and spare pen nibs. SenseLab's Quick Keys Remote is another very useful device for fast workflow with customizable shortcuts. There are also two USB cables and a special drawing glove. The hand in this glove glides on the tablet so smoothly. Now it's time to switch on the tablet and after charging its battery, I can unplug the USB cable and go wireless. All that is needed for that is to plug in the USB dongle. We are ready to draw the first portrait, which I will make in the reverse perspective. For drawing, I will use the thin pen with two buttons. It has the same dimensions as a regular pen, which will make it very easy to use. For digital sketching, I will be using the Sketchbook, a simple sketching program with intuitive interface, adjustable drawing tools, and layers. The pen glides on the tablet surface smoothly. It is very responsive and precise. How to draw a portrait is explained in depth in the Life Drawing Academy online course. If you want to improve your portrait drawing skills, this is one of the best courses to take. As an art tutor, I often receive portrait artworks for critique. Many drawings have the same common mistakes. One of such mistakes is using an incorrect perspective. To show you what this mistake is about, I will make this fast sketch, intentionally distorting placements of facial features. I would not like to overdo such distortion, though. It will be a recognisable portrait with believable proportions. By this time, there are already several mistakes in this sketch. I wonder if you can spot them. Seeing mistakes is a skill on its own. If you are a beginner, you may think that there is nothing wrong with this drawing, but depending on your experience, you may notice that although proportions and construction is more or less in place, the perspective is really off. I will finish this drawing with a few final lines and will show you what is wrong with perspective here. I really like how the SenseLab's tablet and pen are working. It is a very pleasant experience to draw with these tools. It is easy to give different weight to strokes with the pressure-sensitive pen. The drawing process is fast and smooth. It's time to put some lines of linear perspective here. You can see that the level of eyebrows and the lines of eyes are pointing slightly upward as if the horizon level is above. At the same time, the lines in the mouth area are pointing downward. Because vanishing lines are not converging, but diverging, it results in reverse perspective. This is the mistake I want you to avoid in your portrait artworks. Now, let's draw a portrait in two-point perspective. I will make a new sketch of the same face. This time, I will correct the previous mistake and place the facial features in two-point perspective. I draw from imagination. 
This is not a hyper-realistic portrait, but rather a stylized image. To draw a good portrait, an artist has to know several things. Constructive drawing, anatomy for artists, and classical proportions of a human head. All these topics you can learn in the Life Drawing Academy Correspondence course. In this course, you will get unlimited one-to-one -one personal tutoring from professional artists and art teachers. This course is unique because your drawing curriculum will be custom-tailored to your skills and needs. You will learn strong drawing skills by making up to 100 practical tasks. Every task will be fully explained and your artworks will be assessed. The Academy tutors will teach you as long as it takes to raise your drawing skills to the advanced level. I'm drawing on the tablet, but digital medium is just a way of making art. The skills you will learn in the Life Drawing Academy course are needed for every drawing medium you may use. For example, the knowledge of human head anatomy and proportions is required no matter what medium you use, whether digital drawing, oil painting, or sketching in traditional pen and ink. This course covers so many topics, including linear and aerial perspective, principles of constructive drawing, classical canons of proportions, golden ratio, human anatomy for artists, rules of composition, proficient rendering techniques, how to make figurative artworks, and so on. If you are really serious about getting good drawing skills, you won't get the same quality art education anywhere else. This course is unique and offers great value for money. This sketch is almost complete. Although it is the same face, this time its facial features are placed in two-point perspective. Let's check it with vanishing lines. You can see that the lines of the eyebrows, eyes and mouth are converging. They will meet somewhere on the horizon in one vanishing point. Another vanishing point is also beyond the drawing area on the right-hand side. This makes it two-point perspective. I will make another drawing in the parallel perspective. Technically speaking, because a human head is a three-dimensional object which has its height, width and depth, it is correct to assume that it should be depicted in the two-point perspective as I just demonstrated in the previous sketch. However, if you examine the art by the old masters, you would find that the great artists seldom used two-point perspective to portray people. Instead, they used the parallel perspective. You may ask, what is it, and why is it better to use this kind of perspective? Parallel perspective is when vanishing lines are not converging or diverging, but parallel to each other. A head is a relatively small object, and we usually see other people from some distance. Also, our brain reinterprets the picture and minimizes distortions. Such distortions are very noticeable when you take a photo of a person or a selfie from a close distance. Because we are so used to photo images and pictures on TV and computer screens, photo perspective became a part of our life and no longer looks unnatural. Before photography, artists had a different view of the world and made their art as perceived by their mind, not by the lens of a photo camera. Talking of proportions, I will briefly mention that a proficient artist has to know more than 20 different proportions and many rules of alignments to make a realistic portrait. If you are not sure what those proportions and alignments are, 
you can learn good drawing skills in the Life Drawing Academy course. Now, let's check how the parallel perspective works. As you can see, in this sketch, the lines of the eyebrows, eyelids, base of the nose and chin are parallel to each other. They also happen to be horizontal, but this is because we see this portrait at our level, not above or below. I'm not sure about you, but to me, perspective in this sketch looks more natural than in the previous two. I hope you have learned something new in this video. If you want to know where you can get the tablet and pen to draw digitally, here are the links.